Hello, my name's Dave from the Regal UK team at Telonic Instruments Limited. Purpose of this video is to show you the M301 data acquisition system, new from Regal. I have a unit here, fresh out of the box. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to set up this instrument from scratch so that you can see the configuration straight out of the box. And hopefully we're going to do some measurements using a multiplexer card. And the multiplexer card that I'm going to use is the MC3132 32 channel two way multiplexer unit. So this card plugs into the back of the instrument. I'm going to show you quickly exactly as you would do. You'll notice in the M301 we have already fitted with your unit the MC. 3065 multimeter module which provides the metering and measurement facilities within the M301. So the M301 comes complete with that multimeter unit fitted and that is the most cost effective way of purchasing that multimeter unit. What I'm doing now is I'm sliding the MC3132 card into the back of the system. So that's all you have to do to physically set up the system. You can optionally buy a breakout box. This is the MTB32, MTB32 breakout box. I'll just briefly show you what's in that breakout box. Inside this breakout box we've got 32 two-way connections which you can wire into. You can see here that I've wired into two connections. I've wired a voltage measurement and a temperature sensor and those two units are here. This is a thermocouple that I've wired in. It's a simple K-type thermocouple and this is a 2-1 digital multimeter connection to measure for DC volts. So I'm just going to close that up so that it's nice and secure and then we're going to take that module and we're going to plug it into the back of the MC module, the multiplexer module I'll it the wrong way around there. That sits snugly on there and it can be locked in place. So there you go, I've now configured that physically. What I'm going to do is power on that instrument now. While it's booting up, I'll just talk you through the range of measurements that can be made on this instrument. We're going to set it up to measure DC voltage and possibly temperature as well using that thermocouple. You can also measure AC voltage, two wire resistance and four wire resistance with the DM3065 module, MC3065 module fitted. With the multiplexer card, we have the option to view up to 32 channels and I'm gonna show you how to configure this to, to scan across channels. So here we go. The front panel here has a simple way of detecting the units. You can see the detect button here. I'm going to ask it to find out what units are fitted. And you can see that it's correctly detected the digital multimeter card MC3065 and it's also detected in slot 1 a 32-way multiplexer. So we're now going to go back and we're going to set up a channel. This, this is the channel configuration menu. I'm going to edit so that we have a channel, a new channel. Immediately you can see it gives me the chance to make one channel one a DC voltage measurement channel and I'm going to say done. There's the first measurement channel. I'm then going to add a second channel and this time I'm going to ask it to measure temperature. It gives me a choice of thermocouples and I'm going to say, for the sake of argument, I'm going to say could you measure it as a JK type thermocouple. And there we go, done. So you can see on the front panel that we have DC volts and temperature. So I have just shown you out of the box everything that you need to do to physically configure 
and configure on the front panel a scanning of multiple channels on the M301 and just to prove it I've got the battery on the DC volts channel and this is the thermocouple and what I'm going to do is to show you this is what the, la the scan list looks like on the front of the instrument I'm going to set it so that there will be an infinite number of scans of those channels and I'm going to show you both monitoring so now the unit is monitoring DC volts on channel 1 and it's showing that 9 volt battery and it's also showing the thermocouple and it's correctly showing the rather warm 29 degrees temperature that is up here and I can prove that to you by just blowing on the thermocouple and that temperature goes down to 28 just to show what's happening if I don't want to monitor the channels I can also ask it to do a full run of scanning and that will do that scan list beg your pardon that will do a run of that, of that scan that's now logging that data at the same time as monitoring it it's logging it to a file within the instrument and we can export that set of data from the scan list so that's everything you need to do to scan with the M301